What's up everybody, Mr. Dude here, and welcome to another episode of X-Plane 11. So we are up here at uh, DFW International, Dallas-Fort Worth, and uh, we're taking a look at the default scenery that comes in X-Plane 11. Um, so it's basically just the uh, runways here, oh, runways over here, and uh, the taxiways. Um, and that's basically it. There are no buildings uh, or anything like that. Um, we'll take a quick, we'll do a quick time lapse here. See what it looks like at night. And this is basically what you're going to run into at night. You know, you've got the uh, taxiways and stuff, so you get the general impression at night. So at night time, you know, it shouldn't be terrible. That's kind of what that's going to look like. Uh, it's super early morning, and that's what it's going to look like. So, um, okay, I'm going to set a few things up, and then we will be right back. And we're back. Uh, so we're here at Love Field, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do some taking off. Positive rates. So, I mean, this simulator is absolutely ridiculous. It's just, all right. So we'll go ahead and get going. Um, so there is the, uh, I, those buildings are a landmark for me, but what, what the purpose of this video is, the overarching purpose is to uh, kind of advertise the scenery gateway in a way um, as a way for uh, you know for people to kind of see the different options that there are um, and what's most interesting about this is uh, is the amount of detail that that uh, some of the content creators on the scenery gateway uh, go through in order to kind of create the different uh, oh the different sceneries okay we're a bit too far east actually so we'll just kind of follow this road up so this is a different airfield in the Dallas area pretty sure that's not where we took off from turn this way I just like all of the different uh, uh, views that you can get 
I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't know what this one is. Is that like a tower view? Is that one? Like, that's ridiculous. Ah. All right. I think we're headed in the right direction. I'm really not sure. I do believe we are. There's a lake here. Pretty sure we are. take a quick pause real quick and we are going to grab us nope that's not what I want I want the other one I believe yes this is the one I want uh, is there no VFR sectional map IFR no map oh okay that's not good That's not good. I figured we'd have a map. So let's see here real quick. Let's bump out of here and just kind of. Okay, there's the. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we're headed the right direction. I do like flying this jet. I just... It's, it's just not very good for uh, long flights because... I can't get any of the flight, any of the uh, autopilot stuff to work. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> shift seven, shift eight, shift nine, all right. Okay, so we are approaching the field. Finally. Let's see if we can't slow down a little bit. But uh, as we were saying, we kind of got distracted there. But anyway, um, so Airport Scenery Gateway is where uh, basically where the community where the community can uh, basically help create its own game and do stuff and uh, submit it and. Um, you know, and it just becomes a part of the game, basically. So, what we have here is uh, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, DFW. Um, as you can tell, there is all kinds of stuff happening with this. Now, this is an airport created for Scenery Gateway by a content creator by the name of Jan Vogel. Um, he does have uh, a YouTube channel that he posts some stuff to, but uh, he basically builds a lot of these airports. Um, and 
So we'll go ahead and pause this right here. And we're gonna hop out of the aircraft real quick and we're just gonna take a quick look around. Look at this, I mean, this is ridiculous. So he's got all of the taxiways and uh, runways drawn out, uh, specific to the material that they're made of. Um, and anything in the X-Plane, in the X-Plane gateway is basically um, default X-Plane items. Uh, you can't use any add-on scenery items and have anything posted to the gateway. So anything from uh, the scenery gateway, you don't have to you you don't have to download anything additional. Um, and so there's a state highway that runs through the airport area. He's got that in there, uh, which it was before in the default. Uh, but basically, what happened is all these terminal buildings, all of this was not here it was just tarmax and um yeah it was just tarmax and nothing else and now look look at all this um you've got several control towers and you've got like all these different terminals like it's just just beautifully modeled absolutely so uh, let's go ahead and time lapse this real quick you can kind of see the lights coming on and it just look at this you've got runways lit up and um, so you've got a couple runways lit up over here uh, there should be runways over on the other side I believe um, but I don't really see them lit up let me just hand back some time here and make it earlier oof so there is earlier and then later at night yeah those runways aren't necessarily drawn drawn in like these are or the, the lights aren't on so this is what it looks like at night all the terminals and that so yeah it's <laughs> just a crazy crazy good job we're gonna back off the light here and we'll just kind of make it later in the afternoon we'll get back in the cockpit and we shall come in for a landing those flats really killed that speed So we're going to, basically what we're going to do is we're going to probably fly to the edge of that field and then come back around and see if we can't land. Alert. Oh, aircraft traffic. Of course, I can't tell where it's at, but cool. All right, we're going to go ahead. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we don't wreck because we're not talking to any of the controllers. Okay, so it looks like there's some aircraft above me that I can't see. You know, look at the aircraft out in front. bit low 
for the approach. I'm gonna go for this other runway, actually. Plenty of runway. Oh god, that is an awful landing. I need to change my rudder control. That is ridiculous. <laughs> but the uh, today's flight wasn't about the flying because <laughs> I certainly broke my plane. But it was about this amazing airport that somebody has gone through and just that uh, old Jan Vogel uh, has gone through and created and placed onto the scenery gateway. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Like, just the sheer effort that it took to place all these buildings um, is ridiculous. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm going to have to see about the settings to see how much... Uh, traffic can be affected you know if there could be more traffic less traffic that kind of thing but um, I don't know too much about that but anyways I want to thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of X Plane 11 um, I do appreciate the support uh, please uh, if there are any flight suggestions or if you guys want to see something specific or if you want me to to try and build an airport um, for myself um, to show you guys uh, how to do it uh, just go ahead and make some comments in the down below and uh, I appreciate you guys we'll see you next time